Are you looking for the best fixed blade knives in your budget? Well in today's video, we break down the top 5 best fixed blade knives that are available on the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price quality, durability, and more to see the more information about these product. I found these products much helpful for people like you. You can check out the description below also make sure you subscribe for more videos. Okay so let's get started with the video. Number 5. Gerber Strongarm and LMF2. Gerber makes a number of fixed blade knives that you'll see being carried by members of the US military. The two that we'll discuss here are the Gerber Strongarm and Gerber LMF2. First, let's discuss the Strongarm. The blade you're getting here is a highly versatile drop point consisting of ceramically coated 420HC steel, with or without partial serration. This knife is ready for just about any challenge you may face and is equally as durable as it is versatile. The knife is equipped with a rubberized grip with a diamond coat texture that feels excellent in the hand and doesn't slip even when soaking wet. The strong arm has its own sheath specifically designed to be as tactical and versatile as possible. These sheaths are excellent and far exceeded expectations at this price point. They are mall compatible and host multi-directional carry configurations. Number 4. ESE 6P or 4P. The ESE 6P and 4P have been around for a while now and continue to be some of the most versatile knives for the money. Along with getting an extremely well-designed full tang knife with a razor-sharp 1095 carbon steel drop point blade, you also get the ESE 100% lifetime transferable warranty. That means if you somehow manage to break it, ESE will repair or replace it with no questions asked, even without a receipt. The blade is crafted from 1095 carbon steel, one of my favorite steels, and capable of being fitted for modular deployment. This blade is capable of everything from wood processing to battening to survival applications. This blade not only serves great in the wilderness but is also great for first responders and law enforcement uses. Its design is beautiful yet simple and it feels great in your hand, with a perfect balance between a sturdy, thick blade and a lightweight handle. It comes with a molded sheath for tactical deployment options as well as a clip plate for easy access. Number 3. Kabar 1211-14. This is an updated version of the original Kabar, the knife developed to match the lethality and effectiveness of German knives during World War II. Keep in mind that the Kabar model 1211, 1212, 1213, and 1214 all have 1211 stamped on the blade. The knives are the same with slight modifications. The 1211 version has a straight edge with a leather sheath, model 1212 has a serrated edge with a leather sheath, model 1213 has a straight edge with kydex sheath, and model 1214 has a partially serrated edge with a kydex sheath. I prefer and recommend the 1213 version it's an excellent niche knife for those who have an affinity for the Kabar name and style. No, it's not the best fixed blade knife you could buy on a dollar per performance basis and 1095, even if it is their upgraded Crovan steel, 1095 with a little vanadium added, isn't exactly the best or the most durable in any specific category, but there is a lot to love about this knife. Number 2. Benchmade Bushcrafter You know those silly games you used to play where someone would ask you what item you would like to have if you were stranded on an unknown island? Yeah, this is one of those items. The Full Tang S30V blade can take a good bit of abuse and is perfect for bushcraft, camping, survival applications. If you've read any of our other knife articles on Marine Approved, you already know we're big fans of Benchmade. Along with making their knives in the USA and backing all of their knives by Benchmade's LifeSharp service and unbelievable warranty, these knives are made with incredible attention to detail and craftsmanship. With a little maintenance, this knife will continue to be a workhorse and last a lifetime. I could go on and on about this knife, but the video below does a good job providing an overview of its features. Number 1. ESE Isula 2. I know ESE doesn't participate at the top echelons of knife building and of course, the Isula 2 coming in with 1095 steel is no exception to that, but man I still get so excited when I get a new ESE knife. The Isula 2 on paper is actually pretty disappointing but its performance is anything but. First and foremost, these are supposed to be extremely small fixed blades that are meant to be heavily abused and replaced after a while. They aren't going to be the kind of knife that you can use on all of your adventures, constantly abusing them and then passing them down to your kids for further abuse. 
At just 70 bucks is though, you can certainly get your money's worth and more, though, because what ESE lacks in premium steel options they make up for in design and engineering.